Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today we are continuing with the series Congressional Donors. This time with chapter 16. As always, I do have my notes. Um, before we begin, yes, I did have this sheared off finally. Oh, it feels good to not have that hair up there. I get tired of having that horseshoe of hair here and then this tiny little tuft of hair. <laughs> Even had my beard shaved down, so. Uh, so it, it feels pretty good to have that trimmed down. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this Congressional Donors. As always, I'll have the notes, or have the sources in the description. But today we begin with Kathy Castor. She is 53 year old. She represents Florida's 14th district. She is a Democrat and she is serving her seventh term in the U.S. House of Representatives. She graduated from Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. She then graduated from Florida State University in Tallahassee, Florida. She's been a lawyer, been a member of the Hillsborough County, Florida Board of Commissioners, Un and she had an unsuccessful, she was an unsuccessful candidate for the Florida State Senate before finally being elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. Let's talk about her House committees. The one I have here is she's on the committee for the House Committee for Energy and Commerce. That brings us to her top five individual donors. At the top, we have Vote Same Pack. They are a political action committee that seems to be bipartisan and wanting to get more citizens involved. Not much more info found. And they donated altogether 51000 Next is the American College of Physician Services. I guess services provided by the American College of Physicians? Again, couldn't find really any info. Because some of these, there's no Wikipedia articles, there's no Better Business Bureaus, there's no Bloomberg articles, nothing on them. So either the businesses are so small or just so little known about them in the public eye. Altogether, they donated $6,000. Next is the American Congress for Obstetricians and Gynecologists. They are an, a professional association of physicians specializing in obstetrics and gynecology in the United States and is a 501c3 organization. Altogether, they do donated $6,000. Next is Standard Industries. They are a New Jersey manufacturer of roofing products. The company offers roofing and waterproofing products and is headquartered in Parsippany, New Jersey. Altogether, they donated 5600 And finally, we have Publix Supermarkets. 
commonly known as Publix. They are an employee-owned American supermarket chain headquartered in Lakeland, Florida. Altogether, they donated $5,005. That brings us to our top five industry donors. At the top, we have health professionals, $54,320. Next, we have Miscellaneous Issues, which donated $54,000. Then we have Lawyers and Law Firms, which altogether donated $15,638. Quite a drop there. Next is Telecom Services, which donated $14,000. And finally, Hospitals, Nursing Homes which altogether donated 13810 And once again, that was Kathy Castor. Next, we have Joaquin Castro. He is 45-year-old, and he represents Texas's 20th district. He is a Democrat, and he is serving his fourth term in the U.S. House of Representatives. He graduated from Stanford University. He then graduated from Harvard University. Big time schools. Pretty impressive. He's been a lawyer, a member of the Texas State House of Representatives, before finally being elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. His House Committees are the House Committee on Foreign Affairs and the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. That brings us to his top five individual donors. At the top, we have King and Spalding. They are an American international corporate law firm that is headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. Altogether, they donated $5,700. Next is Emerson Collective, a social change organization focused on education, immigration reform, the environment, media, and journalism and health. They are headquartered in Palo Alto, California. Altogether, they donated $5,600. Next is USAA, a Fortune 500 diversified financial services group of companies, including a te Texas Department of Insurance regulated reciprocal inter-insurance exchange and subsidies, subsidiaries offering banking, investment, and insurance to people and families who serve or served in the United States Armed Forces, and they are headquartered in San Antonio, Texas. Altogether, they donated 5225 <coughs> Next is the American Association for Justice. They are formerly known as the Association of Trial Lawyers of America. They are an, a nonprofit and advocacy group and lobbying organization for plaintiffs' lawyers in the United States, and they are headquartered in Washington, D.C. Altogether, they donated $5,000. And lastly, we have the American Federation of Teachers. They are the second largest teachers' labor union 
in America and were founded in Chicago, Illinois and based in Washington, D.C. Altogether, they donated $5,000. That brings us to his top five industry donors. At the top, we have lawyers and law firms, which altogether donated 17956 Next is retired, which altogether donated 16920 Next is Building Trade Unions, which donated 13500 Next is Public Sector Unions, which donated $13,025. And lastly, we have Miscellaneous Issues, which donated $8,100. And once again, that was Joaquin Castro. Next, we have Steve um, Chabot. He is 66 year old and represents the 1st District of Ohio. He is a Republican and serving his 12th term as a representative. He graduated the College of William and Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia. He graduated Salmon P. Chase College of Law in Highland Heights, Kentucky. He's been a teacher, a member of Cincinnati, Ohio City Council. Hamilton County, Ohio, Commissioner, before being elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. Now, his House Committees he's on. He's on the House Committee for Foreign Affairs, the House Committee of the Judiciary, and he is the Ranking Member of the House Committee on Small Business. This will bring us to his top five individual donors. At the top, we have Take Back the House 2020. It is a political action committee that supports Republicans for election to the U.S. House of Representatives. Really found no other information. They donated $123,419. Next is Club for Growth. They are a 501c conservative organization with an agenda focused on cutting taxes and other economic ideas. It has two political parts, an affiliated PAC named Club for Growth PAC, and then Club for Growth Action, an independent expenditure-only pack. And altogether, they donated 49414 Next is Centus Corp. They provide high-cost, specialized service to businesses, primarily in North America. They, the fur designs, manufactures, and implements corporate identity uniform programs that provides interest mat, entrance mats, restroom cleaning, and supplies, tile and carpet cleaning, um, promotional products, first aid, safety, and fire protection products and services. They are headquartered in Cincinnati, Ohio, and altogether they donated $22,400. Next is American Financial Group. They are an American financial services holding company focused 
on insurance and investments and are based in Cincinnati, Ohio. Altogether, they donated $12,900. Finally, that brings us to Entertainment Junction. They are the world's largest indoor model railroad display, and they are located in Westchester Township, Ohio. Altogether, they donated $11,200. That brings us to his top five industry donors. At the top, we have Republican conservative groups which altogether donated $179,935, or 33 I'm not sure. Like I said, sometimes it's hard to read my own writing. Next is Leadership Packs, which altogether donated $109,250. Next is Candidate Committees which altogether donated $58,500. Next is Miscellaneous Manufacturing and Distributing, which altogether donated $45,000. And finally, Insurance, which altogether donated $34,400. And once again, that was Steve Chabot. Next is Liz Cheney. She's 53-year-old and represents Wyoming's 1st District. She is a Republican and serving her second term in the U.S. House of Representatives. She graduated from Colorado College in Colorado Springs, Colorado, then graduated from the University of Chicago Law School in Chicago, Illinois. She's been a staff for the United States Agency for International Development. She was a staff for the United States Department of State. She was a private practice lawyer. Then she was a lawyer for the International Finance Corporation. Then she was a Dep Deputy Assistant Secretary to, of State for Near Eastern Affairs in the U.S. Department of State. She was on the campaign staff uh, for the presidential campaign of George W. Bush seeing that her daddy was the vice presidential pick. She is the, then she was the principal deputy assistant secretary of state for Near Eastern Affairs in the U.S. Department of State. She's been a nonprofit executive, a television commentator, before finally being elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. The House Committee she are on is the House Committee for Armed Services and the House Committee for Natural Resources. This brings us to her top five individual donors. At the top, we have Castle Harlan Incorporated a private equity firm that focuses on buyouts and growth capital investments in middle market companies across a range of industries. Headquartered in New York City, New York. Altogether, they donated $28,000. Next, we have Morgan Stanley an American multinational investment bank and financial services company. It was ranked number 67 in 2018 Fortune 500. It is headquartered in New York City, New York. She seems to like that place. 
They donated $25,100. She seems to like New York City, even though she represents Wyoming. Simbler Company. A company that deals in the construction of non-residential buildings. It is based in St. Petersburg, Florida. Altogether, it donated $16,800. Next is the Hess Corporation. They are an American global independent energy company engaged in the exploration and production of crude oil and natural gas. They are headquartered in, you guessed it, New York City, New York. Altogether, they donated $11,600. And finally, we have the Arizona Diamondbacks. They're the Major League Baseball team, and they're owned by Ken Kendrick, who founded Datatel. I don't know really if there's much else to say. And they donated $11,200. That brings us to her top five industry donors. At the top is retired. Altogether, they donated $165,800. Next is Securities and Investment which donated $141,650. Next is Real Estate, which donated $107,290. Next is Oil and Gas, which donated $88,200. And finally, Lawyers and Law Firms, which altogether donated $65,250. And once again, that was Liz Cheney. Finally, we look at Judy Chu. <coughs> she is 66 year old and represents California's 27th district. She is a Democrat and is serving her sixth, ter sixth term in the U.S. House of Representatives. She graduated from the University of California in Los Angeles, California, graduated from the California School of Professional Psychology in Los Angeles, California, was a professor for the Los Angeles City College, professor for East Los Angeles College in Monterey Park, California, was a member of the Garvey, California School District, a member of the Monterey Park, California City Council, was mayor of Monterey Park, California, was a member of the California State Assembly, a member of the California Board of Equalization, was the vice chair of the California Board of Equalization, before finally being elected to the United States House of Representatives. Her house committees are the House Committee for Small Business and the House Committee for Ways and Means. This will bring us to our top five individual donors. At the top, we have Ethan Capital. I found nothing. I don't know. They donated $7,000. Next is Royal Business Bank. They are a Chinese-American bank 
based in Los Angeles, California. They donated $5,600. Next is the TeleQ Construction Management. They are the East Los Angeles Community Union's construction arm, a nonprofit community development corporation that services disadvantaged communities in East Side Los Angeles. Altogether, they donated $5,600. Next is Marine Essence Biosciences. They are a high tech company specializing in research and development of marine biotechnology based in Chino, California. Altogether, they donated $5,400. Finally, we have an American Association of Justice. They are formerly the Association of Trial Lawyers of America. They are a nonprofit and advocacy group and lobbying organization for plaintiffs lawyers in the United States. They are headquartered in Washington, D.C., and altogether they donated $5,000. This brings us to her top five industry donors. At the top is health professionals who donated $45,300. Next is building trade unions, which donated $24,000. Next is insurance, which donated $21,000. $781. Next is public sector unions, which donated $19,750. And finally, we have lawyers and law firms, which altogether donated $19,400. And once again, that was Judy Chu. As I said, I will try to have the sources in the description, if I can remember it. But, as always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, and learn. And if someone makes a proclamation that can be proven, tell them to prove it. Cite their sources. If they can't cite your sources, why should we believe you? Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, later.